These are the words of Jesus. I tell you the truth. Whoever hears my words and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be condemned. He has crossed over from death to life. If ever I was sent to live on a desert island and could only take one book from the Bible, my choice would be John's Gospel, simply because it's packed full of faith-inspiring statements like this one. However, in the context in which Jesus uttered these words, he was not primarily trying to inspire faith, but to defend himself from the accusations of religious zealots who were seeking to trap him and gain evidence to justify his execution. If you read verse 27, you will see that in his defence he simply sets out to explain that his role as Son of Man will make him judge over the very ones who stand in judgment over him. High school RE will emphasise the term Son of Man as Jesus wanting to identify with man's humanity. But it means so much more, especially in John's Gospel. And Jesus knew that his accusers, who devoted themselves to Hebrew scriptures, would understand the term as used in the book of Daniel, where Daniel, in his vision, looks and sees one like a son of man coming with the clouds of heaven. And this son of man was given authority, glory and sovereign power. All people's nations and men of every language worshipped him. Now, if you're not a Christian, let me prompt you to examine the claims of Jesus and uh, see who he says he, he is by reading your Bible and, and visiting your local church. If you are a Christian, this is a good place to worship him. And that Graham Kendrick song comes to mind. Oh, what a mystery, meekness and majesty. Bow down and worship for this is your God. This is your God. Thank you for listening.